I love scary movies and how they haunt you with both visuals of creepy clowns or bloody knives, but also sounds that make you jump or feel like there's somebody creeping up behind you. I'm here at Dolby to learn more about the science and tech behind what it takes to scare the living crap out of me. This will be fun. When you're watching a movie or a TV show, you not only feel things, but you can also physically react to what's happening on screen. I met up with researchers at Dolby to learn more about how tech like Dolby Atmos and Vision can amplify those reactions and to see how my body changes as I watch a scary movie. But first, here's a quick breakdown of what Dolby Vision and Atmos are. With Dolby Vision, images can seem more realistic by increasing brightness, amplifying colors, and then depicting these deep, dark levels of black. Dolby Atmos makes it feel like sounds are coming all around you instead of just from the left or right. So you can actually hear them above you or coming closer or moving further away. With Dolby Atmos, you can actually place sounds in specific areas. So you could hear a spaceship flying above you or a car zipping past you. Basically, you'd hear these things as if you were hearing them in the real world. So clearly sounds and visuals are really good at making us feel happy or anxious or scared, but how do they do that? We're at Dolby's biophysical lab to find out how images and sounds affect my senses. So these glasses will measure where I'm looking, but it'll also measure my pupil diameter. So as I'm watching something, it'll show how I'm reacting physically to what I'm seeing. So this chart actually measures skin conductance the same way that a lie detector test would. It's called a galvanic skin response. So basically as I'm watching something, it'll detect how I'm sweating or reacting to what I'm seeing. And this is an EEG. So what it'll do is it'll show how my brain reacts to something that's exciting or happy or scary. And this will track it. So let's try it out. All right, I've got the cap on under my scarf somehow. We got the skin sensors and the pupillometer. I did not come up with that term. All right, let's roll the film. So if we had to watch a scary movie, of course they made me watch it. And you could see on the monitor the parts where I really freaked out. So all the like nasty teeth scenes and you could just see me kind of actually physically reacting to how disgusting and terrifying I felt like that was. So what does Dolby do with all of this data? Their goal is really to make sure that no matter what you're watching or how you're watching it, whether it's in your home or on your phone or in the theaters, that you're really having a visceral reaction to what you're watching, that you're really engaged in whatever you're consuming, what the visuals are, what the sound is, and really trying to convey what the creator intended when you're watching their content. Streaming services like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Apple TV Plus support Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, so you can also watch immersive content right from your couch. You can also find Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos in everything from the latest iPhones and Samsung phones to TVs and soundbars from companies like LG, Sony, and TCL. AirPods can play Dolby Atmos through Apple Music, and you'll find Dolby Atmos in game consoles like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S. You can also experience Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos at the movie theater since most big films utilize it. Also, this kind of immersive experience could be coming in a different form in the near future. But for now, I'm gonna go back to my movie. Oh, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.